ladies and gentlemen, aviators of the world. Welcome back to Sim Airport. That's right. My name, of course, is Little Potato. Right. Straight off the bat, we have a couple of things that we want to fix in today's episode. We need to fix up this taxiway. I have absolutely zero idea why I didn't do this in the last episode, but for whatever reason, uh, I just didn't. Can I not do? Can I not do uh, taxiway running across the runway? I feel like that should be something that's allowed, given that that is quite a normal thing in airports right i'm not going crazy about that am i i guess we'll i guess we'll see in just a second once the once the workers get out here uh, what else do we want to do well we want to keep on making bigger and better gates if that's uh, a thing that we can do uh, i think that we're going to try and build our first sort of secondary terminal over here that would certainly be uh, be quite fun quite achievable as well i uh, i very very much like the idea of that where the heck are all my workers, and why are they not building this as quickly as they as they should be? I'd like to cancel this construction if possible. I want to see if this is if this is workable here. Yeah, build this, and then we'll see if it uh, we'll see if it. Yeah, okay. Apparently, that completely completely works. Okay, so we are allowed to cross. We are allowed to cross runways here. All right, excellent. That's great. Then, without further ado, we're gonna dismantle. All of this, because there is no point in uh, in keeping this around. Anyway, we are going to make an obscene amount of money over the course of today. It's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be great. Uh, we do still have another couple of government grants that we need to that we need to get done. What do we got to do? We've got to do investments. Uh, wait for 13 days. Yeah, we're we're pretty much waiting for 13 days at this moment in time. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while, but that's fine. Uh, increase the overall airline interest to 70%. I have absolutely zero idea how the heck we're supposed to increase airline interest to 70%. Like that is that is a challenge if ever I uh, if ever I saw one. I, I just have no idea. I mean, I uh, I tried to I tried to decrease my prices, but it turns out they don't really care about prices. They care about they care about uh, apparently anyway. They care about just facilities in the airport. I mean, it says airport facilities and more work hard for access to the best airlines or face having offers reneged. Yeah, I do worry about that. I do worry about that for sure. We're going to see if we can also pick up a couple of other airlines, perhaps, you know, British Airways, Lufthansa, some of the some of the big juicy, juicy, juicy ones, perhaps at these uh, at these big, large gates. We've got the American Airlines uh, thing over here. Uh, I'd say thing. I mean, I mean, plane, of course. We should be we should be operating, yeah. We should be operating uh, a baggage route now, shouldn't we? Yeah. Are we? Uh, okay. We might be having somewhat of an issue. Yes, we might be having somewhat of an issue with our baggage hub here. Okay. You know what? That's not necessarily a problem. Why the heck have all of the windows suddenly gone so weird? Uh, I can get a bag hub booster. Bag hub boosters for increased sorting through your hubs. So upgrade bag booster. Uh, where the heck does a bag booster go? Must be placed on a baggage hub? Yeah, okay, I guess we're gonna get two... Two bag boosters there then. And so that should allow up to... Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, an approximate capacity of 720 per hour. That is absolutely plentiful numbers of bags. And we're very, very much looking forward to that. Uh, what's going on here? Has no road connection reaching the spawn point. Oh, yes, because I've messed this area up. That's fine. We'll dismantle that road. We'll get it reconnected. And as simple as that, bada bim, bada boom, we should be able to... There we go. We should be able to make this whole area work. Right, so as you can see, we're already we're already in a uh, very, very nice financial place. I'm not too displeased with, uh, with how things are looking at the moment. 1.7 million in the bank. 1.7 million in the bank. Who knew that running an airport could be so darn profitable? I did. That's why I. That's why I made it this way. I no, I didn't really. It's mostly just luck that I'm doing as well as I am. I mean, there are a couple of loans that we that we took out over the course of this series that I uh, that I doubted. I, I doubted myself. I doubted my ability to to pay back some of these loans. But you know what? We persevered. We managed. Okay. What else do we want to do? First of all, oh, we missed a lot of flights here. Which flight did you miss? Lufthansa coach Lufthansa gate one Also, what the heck is all of this mess? Okay, I straight up just didn't realize that 
everyone was so messy? Give me 40 janitors. Give me 40 jan- This is an absolute disgrace. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, we also need to get just massively, massively more toilets. I think that we probably want to get more toilets just up on the second floor. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just grab the... I can't even grab the foundation tool. I'm going to grab the wall tool. And I'm going to give myself enough space to make like a really, really decently sized toilet block here. Yeah, I think that's kind of reasonable. Okay, so we should have way more janitors coming in now. Which is kind of good. As soon as the floor is uh, is put down over here, we should be grand. Uh, I'm also going... Oh, look, here comes the, the legion of janitors. The legion of janitors to come and clean up. I'm also going to dismantle all of these benches right here. That's right. Kicking everyone else off their seats. Dismantle all of that. And then we're going to go and get ourselves a moving walkway. Not usable in that position. It must be minimum length of 10 tiles. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get a moving walkway all the way over here. It's going to happen. It's a little bit loud because the construction is happening over there, but that's completely fine. Completely, completely fine. Uh, yeah, do we have capacity issues on these on these escalators here? Yeah, we absolutely do have capacity issues on these escalators over here. I, I didn't really think that this would be a problem, but apparently it absolutely is. Escalator up. Escalator up. Okay. Sure. Escalator up, escalator down, that's all sorted. We got some moving walkways. I tell you what, give me some ad. Give me some digital ad displays. I'm gonna put some digital ad displays down the side of this moving travelator thing, this moving escalator. Mostly because I want to make sure that people have a miserable time leaving my airport. That seems kind of reasonable. Uh, how many buses do we have? Do we have enough buses? I feel like we've got enough buses. I feel like we've got a plentiful number of buses at this moment in time. How are the big, uh, the big planes doing? Big planes seem to be doing pretty well. It looks like we're 178 out of 182 people boarded, which is nice. I presume that the baggage loading and unloading is going quite well, although that is not based on any knowledge of anything. It looks like the baggage hub is able to adequately deal with the all of the baggage that we're throwing at it. It looks like we may need to get one single upgrade for this baggage hub over here. The parking lot is looking much, much better. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with this, to be honest. The fuel depot, the fuel setup seems to be working, seems to be working fine, which is, which is spectacular. Uh, yeah, okay, let me see, let me see what the issue is up here with, uh, with toilets, because this is gonna be the first, the first toilets that we've actually built, which is kinda crazy when you think about it. Kinda crazy when you think about the fact that this is the first toilet that we've actually built. Okay, so, we need sinks, we need, we need sinks, we need, we should probably start with a toilet stall, I think it's called. Yeah, so we want to get as many toilet stalls as we possibly can. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll do something like that. Same in the female restroom. Okay. Then we'll grab some sinks. What else was it that we actually needed? Toilet stall slash urinal. I guess I could actually put some urinals in the mail uh, in the mail bathroom. Sure, cancel like, I don't know, what, half of these? Something like that? That seems, that seems kind of great. And then, that goes in there. Sure. I guess that's fine, right? Alright, and then we get some doors. We get some doors, and we get the doors right in there, and right in there. It's literally that simple. Literally that simple. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's looking that's looking pretty darn good. So now we just need to wait for all of the janitors to clean to clean up a little bit. Oh my God! Look at the arcade. Oh my giddy giddy ant. Also, what's the issue here? One or more garbage zones are full. Is that what the issue is? Is that? Oh no. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Sidewalk. Sidewalk this entire area. Sidewalk this entire area as well. Garbage zone. 
garbage. We need garbage bins, actually, just in general. Zone this all as garbage. Excellent. Dumpsters. Give me some more dumpsters. Give me more dumpsters over here. There we go. Yeah, I should also probably think about getting... I should also probably think about getting more regular garbage deliveries. Where is that? It's in... Transport and deliveries? Garbage. Yeah, so that's daily. Give me, give me like, hourly. Give me hourly garbage removal. I, I suspect that that might just be enough. Um, on the contrary, it might actually be too much. But, uh, but I guess we'll see in just a second, won't we? Alright, so with that additional floor, that additional sidewalk, it should make a big old difference. There we go. Plenty of garbage capacity now. We've got loads of transport capacity as well. The pickup area is looking pretty darn good. Storage. I don't know what we're going to do about the fact that we've got so much stuff in storage, but that's fine. Okay, we need to get a moving, a moving walkway in here. Yeah, give me a moving walkway in here. Yeah, sure. Slows things down a little bit, but whatever. What can you do? Not very much. I'm not happy with the coffee kiosks and the way that they've all sort of turned out. But we'll, we'll address that in a little bit. We have an obscenely large number of of people waiting for bathrooms here. Yeah, this is this is kind of ridiculous. And I feel like this is just only going to increase. Has everyone missed their flight by going to the bathroom? Yeah, that seems kind of crazy. Look at the garbage. Look at the garbage. Also, thank you very much to everyone who pointed out that we still have uh, concrete in some areas of our airport. Concrete does, of course, make the environment look pretty uh, pretty dreadful. How did a... Uh, how did, like, six flights get cancelled here? Did any American Airlines flights get cancelled? No. No American Airlines flights got cancelled. However, Lufthansa flights got cancelled, and that's not exactly ideal. Oh, well. What can you do? Not very much, as it turns out. Okay, I want to see if I can like one wayify some of these some of these taxiways, but we'll we'll address that a little bit later on. It's not a super big deal at this moment in time. I'm kind of a little bit concerned that we still just need like more restroom capacity. Like how is that a thing? How many passengers do I even have in this in this gosh forsaken airport? Six thousand arrivals and about six thousand departures. Okay, so not only is this airport like wildly busy. It's also wildly more, wildly more successful than I initially thought it was. I mean, successful by the metric of shifting passengers around. It sure as heck does feel like I'm shifting a lot of passengers around. Yeah, boy oh boy oh boy. I wish I could charge people to use the restroom. That would be, that would be exceptional. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed. People are just, okay, people are waiting in line for far too long. And it's causing them, it's causing them to, uh, it's causing them to miss their flight. Okay, you know what, before we go much further, let's, let's grab some benches. We'll grab some, some nice posh benches, eh? There we go. We're also gonna grab some garbage bins. There we go. Nice posh benches. That's looking very, very impressive. Restrooms, yeah, I know we need more. I know we need more. We need very many more than we currently have. Failed to reserve runway, failed to reserve gate, runway, runway, gate, gate, gate. I wonder, I wonder if the problem, I wonder if the problem is, is that we should just allow arrivals and departures. I feel like I don't really care where the aircraft take off from. Like, it doesn't actually matter even slightly to me. Oh, look, 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 look at the size of this beast. Look at the size of it! Look at the size of it. That is an A380, friends. That is... That is absolutely gargantuan. I almost hope that it doesn't refuel, because flippin' egg. Look at the size of this monster. Oh, that is huge. That is huge. Okay, so deep plane and clean. I have no idea how many people are coming off this thing. I'm curious to see, though. A lot of people, I can imagine. Boarding starts in five minutes. How many people are going to board? I guess that's probably as many people that disembarked. So 300 people. 300 flipping people. Wowzers. That is... That is crazy. That is very, very crazy indeed. 
Okay, we've pretty much got everyone boarded. The baggage has been unloaded. Baggage has been unloaded, and now it's just a matter of loading up the baggage. Task, loading baggage. Is that it? Is that is that all the baggage on this uh, on this wagon right here? Is that actually going to happen? I think that that might be it. It's got a scheduled departure in 40 minutes. Which is which is fine. Let's just wait and watch all of the baggage get beamed aboard. There we go. Total bags. Ah, okay. So it's only going to be up to 68 bags. It's not going to be it's not going to be any more than that. I wonder if I perhaps need more baggage cars. Give me some more baggage cars. Uh, yeah, baggage car, baggage car, baggage car. Okay. See if that makes any difference. I doubt that it will because we probably just got. Wait, what? What? Did you actually load all your bags? Oh, okay. Apparently so. Apparently we did completely fine. Look at the size of this beast. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't drive! Don't drive over the, the baggage car. Oh, poor baggage car. Poor, poor, poor baggage car. Well, there you go. This is the long runway, so this is the only runway that can actually deal with the A380 at this moment in time. But flipping heck, what an aircraft, eh? What an aircraft, and what an honor to have it flying at my uh, at my aircraft at, at my airport. Yeah, truly, truly spectacular. Absolutely massive, and probably brung in like I don't know, like a million dollars in and of itself. So yeah, very, very nice, very, very nice indeed. It would actually be nice if we could uh, if we could extend this runway a little bit. Excuse me. Must be built on ground floor. Okay. It would be nice if we could extend this runway a little bit and make this A380 compatible. Even at this length, it's just not. It's just not long enough, I don't think, right? Yeah, sure, you know what? I'll extend it a little bit. Just got another achievement. Unlock all technology in the research tree. That's pretty nice, actually. That's really, really nice. So that is... What? Advanced ticketing completed, I think? Standby gates as well? You know what? Standby gates being completed is actually kind of huge. That's actually big for us. So that's going to allow us to have, like, a backup gate or a couple of backup gates if the need arises. I feel like this area needs to be reworked a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I like having small, uh, I like having small gates, but I feel like, I feel like small gates, like, severely limit what we can actually do. So I think that we should actually plan out as best we can. We should plan out a brand new, a brand new terminal building as soon as we finish the upgrades to the, uh, to the runway, and also maybe get a little bit more money. Because I'm thinking about it now, and I'm realizing that we don't actually have that much money at all. Okay, now, give me the planning tool, because we do have a planned wall, planning mode. Yeah, okay, so we can, we can get a, we can get a, a planning mode over here, so that's, so that's kind of nice. Uh, there's also a planning zone, if I'm not mistaken. I'm mistaken, apparently. It's fine. Alright, uh, how do I get rid of, how do I get rid of this? Not like that. Not like that either. Okay. <laughs> Uh, none? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Control click. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, we can make it longer. I, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm delighted that we can make it longer. Um, but somewhat of a problem having that right in there. Anyway, uh, I feel like, yeah, terminal, like, over here. Right? So a terminal, like, right over there, and then give me a gate. Give me a gate. Give me a extra large airport gate. And we actually want to go for something like this. Right? We want to go that, 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 that. That, although I don't actually think that we can build taxiway, like, just down the side... Oh, we actually totally can build taxiway down the side of the, uh, the runway like so. I mean, honestly, that's, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, and I actually kind of dig it. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's continue, let's continue to do this. Okay. 
Uh, give me some more gates. This is gonna be a super duper duper high capacity area, by the way. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't get that idea in your mind, then then now you know. Okay, let's dismantle dismantle this because we don't actually need that here as long as we have taxiway linking this end of the runway up. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a real, real game changer for us. We need a little bit more money in order to make this area work, but you know we'll be able to get that in a little bit. At least one runway might be uh, must be functional. Don't worry, we're we're working on it. We're working on it. We're gonna have more than one functional runway in just a second. Anyway, get all of the gates constructed as quickly as we possibly can. There we go. Go back to building gates. I don't think that I can build. Actually, no, that's a lie. I can build some more gates here. There we go. And then we go four across the top here. Just like so. And so that allows us to build a one-way taxiway. I want to build a taxiway, like, literally that goes all the way around this area here. And it's going to go in, like, a one-way direction. So we're going to have, like, a roundabout effect. Which I think is, is going to be pretty... It's going to be pretty gnarly, actually. I ask this rather frequently. But do people still say gnarly? I feel like they should. It's, what a great word. Okay. One or more delivery zones are full. Oh yeah, we do have a pretty pathetic delivery zone at this moment in time. Well, I can increase it a little bit. Give me a d -d 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 delivery zone. Yeah, just give me a little extension here. Fine. Okay, so we got people. We got people arriving. We don't have a single. We don't have a single flipping taxiway that's actually finished. So we don't have a single runway that is uh, that is in a workable position at this moment in time. So let's get this. Let's get this taxiway finished urgently. Yes, please. Thank you, video game. There we go. Get it finished. Get it finished. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to lead to somewhat of a disastrous occurrence. There we go. Let's get this all done urgently, please. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and we haven't had a single flight land yet. Yeah, okay. So we're going to see a lot of flights canceled over the course of today. Why is nobody building this? I, I have no idea why, why workers are still working on the other stuff, even though I've allocated this as, like, urgent. Like, all of this is urgent. <laughs> why? Why would you give me the option of assigning something, like, urgent building priority if you're not going to allow me to build in, in urgent priority? This is an urgent, urgent priority. And yet, it's taken, like, four hours in order to, in order to do this. And yet, people are still continuing to build out the gates. I mean, don't get me wrong. Delighted. Delighted that we're continuing to build out the gates. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that this taxiway has taken, like, ages and ages and ages to build? That eh, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make a peep of sense. Thank flippin' goodness, eh? At least one taxiway connected on both ends. This taxiway is connected on both ends now. Right? Or oh, wait, does this not count? Perhaps this doesn't actually count. Wait, it does count. All right, I have no idea. Anyway, we end up we end up missing a whole bunch of revenue potential over the course of uh, over the course of the day. That's fine. That's completely fine. You know what we could also do? You know what we could also do? I'm just thinking right now. Uh, some more gates, not necessarily extra large gates, but we could definitely get some. No, 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 no. That was bad, actually. Um, yeah, we could get some. We could get some gates that are large, large remote gates, like we've got over here. Large remote gates just over here on this route, right over yonder. Like this is a, this is an area where we're free to expand to. We just need to pack the aircraft, uh, the airport with more and more gates. I, I think that that is literally, literally what we're after, at this point. Uh, we can get a couple more bus stops as well over here, so, you know, it's going to be pretty possible. It's going to be pretty possible to do. We'll grab some road. And then we'll get road to come all the way down here. Okay, so we got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff in the works. We got a lot of stuff in the works. We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in the works. But that is completely, completely fine. Right, so we next want to get probably some ticketing desks. I think that that's probably what we're after. The passenger experience, by the way, is is actually completely fine. There's a lot of passenger frustration. There's a lot of hunger. 
But that's okay. This is going to be where we sort all of those issues. Don't even worry about it. We're going to sort this. We're going to sort this issue over here. This is like the first. This is the first area that I'm like, yeah, I think we can. I think that we can make this work. I, I think that we can make this work. I think that we can have like pretty high efficiency over here. I think that we can have a really, really good, a really, really good runway and a really, really good setup that just pops. You know. Uh, but I mean, we are going to get to the point very, very swiftly where. Goodness gracious me. We are going to get to the point... Oh, my. Is there a way that I can... Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a way that I can zone specific... Passenger vehicle. Why is there a passenger vehicle here? Like, are you seriously trying to park? Hmm. All right, I, I think that this needs to, this area needs to get changed up for sure. Uh, perhaps we can put like pickups underground, perhaps on like negative two, because this is this is just simply not working. It's it's just an absolute disaster, uh, frankly. It it really is. It's not it's not looking good. There's this area here as well, which I think could honestly benefit from being like a pickup point. You know what? Let's make this area a pickup point. This is this is far from perfect, but you know, it's it's not bad, I guess. Okay. So give me a fence here. Give me a dismantle on this fence once that's all done. Cue this up right now. Which of course, I'm sure this fence will be dismantled before the other fence is uh is is erected. Yep. Look, you can already see the passengers just raring to get through. I mean, look, that's fine. Maybe it makes the... Look at the number of passengers that are coming through here. Oh, video game. You're you're not liking something here. Require a secure area. Just the, the workers are just not bothered about doing what I tell them to do, are they? Just get it done. Get it done. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, the airport was temporarily broken. Now it's fixed. Excellent. I, I can't believe that we actually allow passengers on the, the runway. Like, that's insane. That, that's just insane. Like, is nobody stopping them and just saying, oh, look, it's the Air France uh, A380 again. Is nobody stopping them and saying, hey, this is a restricted area. Please don't don't go this way. I don't know. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a road out here. We're going to build a road out here. Right? And then we're going to basically zone all of this as sidewalk. Excellent. And then this is all going to be a pickup point. Sliding glass door. Excellent and excellent. And then this becomes a pickup point. Beautiful. Pickups. Brilliant. Then we go back to roads and we literally just connect the road up down here yeah i think that that's entirely reasonable and the pickup point the pickup zone right here is actually going to be dezoned because it is pretty problematic for us this one is also going to be dezoned uh so yeah now all pickups are forced to go down this way and i tell you what i'm going to make sure that no passengers can be picked up from just this road so they have to come in they have to come in here they have to queue up and they have to do and they have to do that yeah, that works a lot better. That works a lot better, and we should have, like, no issues with, with traffic congestion now. Yeah, that's a really, really, really good improvement, and was actually really, really simple to make. So I'm pretty happy with that. Very, very happy with that, in fact. Yeah, that's looking that's looking really good. That's looking really, really, really good. I think I'm fine just with it being one large, big pickup zone, but, you know, maybe we can change that if the, if the need arises at some point in the future. Okay, uh, what's next? What's next as a priority? I mean, to be honest, I just want more money. Money, 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 money would be great. Uh, we got this area to sort out next, which is not going to be super difficult to do. We just need one, one gate agent desk. Can I assign to more than one gate? No, I, I don't think that I can. Can I assign more than one gate to more than one pickup point? Gate agent desk. So, for example, if I was to go for a gate agent desk right here would i be able to assign to this remote bus stop and then to one of these to one of these uh to one of these large gates i guess we'll see in just uh in just a sec 
Right, so let's assign to... No, okay, so I need a, an individual remote bus stop for pretty much everywhere. That's fine. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I know we need more more people. Uh, give me a pickup point. Remote pickup point. And then I'm going to see if we can try and get some more bus stops right over here. That actually works shockingly well. Okay, then we get roads. Sure, we throw that down in the middle there. Connect that up there like so. Wonderful. Yeah, and maybe that'll allow... Maybe that'll allow everything to, to sort of work a little bit better. Can I get uh, crosswalk? Can I get crosswalk actually... Actually there, but that's okay. Requires a door to the terminal. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I don't know how we're going to manage to figure that in. Uh, bleh. Okay, maybe I haven't thought this out as well as I as well as I really need to have. There is technically a door to the terminal. I, I wonder if the crosswalk is going to just magically allow people to walk across the the road. You never know. It could just work. Okay, sliding, large sliding glass door. We get one in there. We get one in there too. All right, we'll see if the crosswalk actually ends up working. Until then, there's no point in speculating. No. It doesn't look like that's the case. Um, I feel like there is a way to do this, though. I feel like there absolutely is a way to do this. I just need to find the right way to make it work. Uh, I mean, first of all, we could get rid of this road. We could get rid of this road, and we could always build, like, a little... Oh... Uh, elevator sort of system here. So elevator up or elevator down. So something like this. We only need like a tiny... We only need like a tiny, tiny, tiny little... Little access pathway over here. Invalid placement. Why is this an invalid placement video game? I pretty tell. Okay, give me a foundation. Foundation over here. Right? And then, if I ditch... If I ditch this road... If I ditch this road, it's not exactly ideal, but it's gonna allow us to squeeze in... No, 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 no. Am I gonna have to dismantle all of these different pads in order to dismantle this road? Uh, I mean, I don't love the idea of doing that, to be honest, but... Oh, there we go. Demolish the road. Wonderful. Sometimes demolition works. Sometimes... Dismantling works. Who the heck? Who the heck knew, eh? All right. Either way, it's a super easy fix. Requires the deconstruction of this road, which is easy enough. There we go. Then it requires the building of a foundation. Mm, actually, maybe it is not an easy fix. Maybe it is not an easy fix at all. Is the foundation able to be? Uh, the foundation still not actually able to be built on here. That could present somewhat of a problem. That could definitely present somewhat of a problem. Okay, you know what? We might be, like, limited just by the space. It's a shame, because I, I literally only need, like, two additional two additional width for my foundation over here. Hmm. Actually, let me try something else. Let me try something else. Let me build foundation over here. Right? And then let me build sidewalk all the way down here. Okay? Right? This is a this is a long a long term process. I know we need a lot of people. I'm gonna hire as many as I possibly can. Look at this beast! Look at the beast! Oh my goodness, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Okay, so whilst all of that is going on, I'm gonna just start construction of the massive, massive, massive terminal building over here. 1.8 million in terminal costs. And that's just one floor, by the way. We're gonna have three floors over here. You can bet your bottom dollar we will. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic actually. It's gonna be epic. We need a lot of deliveries, we need a lot of workers. Cool. How many passengers do I have? 
2,300 arrivals, zero missed departures. I know it's only 10 a.m. and the world is our oyster. You know, there's still a lot of departures that we can miss over the course of today. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Right, taxiway is next. Blocked by runway PAD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to, we need to dismantle that. Uh, which is going to change the... Which is just going to change the uh, the crosswind limit. But that's fine. We also need to purchase this land in order to build taxiway down that side. But frankly, we can we can deal with that later. Right. I also might have issue one way of finding this taxiway if it's connected to the runway. Or, you know, slightly connected to the runway. Oh yeah, that uh, looks, looks fine. Okay, well, we'll mess around with that once the taxiway is all being built. Uh, I'm also going to bring on, like way more workers. A hundred that are idle at this moment in time. There we go. Bring on another hundred workers. I seriously can't have anticipated more effort. Right, so we're still not technically connected to the terminal yet. But let's stick in a door right over there. Wonderful. Now, what I'm looking to do is I'm either looking to get a... I don't know if I can actually build. Requires foundation on the ground floor. Okay, there's no way that I can build a bridge by any chance. No, there's no way that I can build a bridge across. So what we're actually going to do is we're straight up just going to build underground. Because I don't actually think that there's anything under here. Which is quite nice. Okay, so from here, we're going to have a down escalator. Right? Now, this might not work, by the way. I'm, I'm open to the idea of it not working. Give me a down escalator right there. Brilliant. So that's going to build a brand new construction on the bottom floor here. And then we're basically going to see if we can build across to... Across to here. And we'll stick an up escalator in over there. Right? It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. We join the dots and bada bim bada boom. It ends up working. We have a lot of workers that are currently devoted to building yeah to building this terminal building it's gonna take a long time for it to be built i say a long time a relatively long time failed through a reserve gate yeah we we probably do have a couple of issues we probably do have a couple of airport capacity issues but honestly i feel like we're not we're not doing too badly um also apparently the security area doesn't even require like any element of sort of I don't know, through movement, we can just stack up a whole bunch of body scanners and then that'll be, and that'll be good enough. So as long as like a passenger is registered as scanned, then I think that they're probably fine. Also, the pickup area is looking real, real good. Like my goodness gracious me, it looks incredible. I, I suspect that we should probably do a similar sort of area for, you know, drop offs and, uh, and storage and stuff over here. Cause we've got this area entirely free. So what the heck, right? The only problem with doing this area over here is that it does kind of limit the, the ticketing expansion. Although we still got plenty of space over here for more ticketing offices. Right, how are we doing? We're literally only a quarter of the way through the terminal. That is bananas. All delivery zones are full. Yeah, that's that's a problem. That's, that's a big old problem. That's the kind of the reason why I feel like we should get a brand new delivery zone over here, right? I say a brand new delivery zone. Let's rezone this delivery zone. Okay, deliveries. Give me a delivery zone. I tell you what, I tell you what we'll do. Big delivery zone here. Big storage zone here. Road. Yeah, down here, down here, down here. Okay, it's going to maybe mess with the, the building priorities for, for everything for a little while, but when we do eventually fix that, it'll be completely fine. All right, I have no idea why, but the passenger experience has hit 90%, which is frankly incredible and unbelievably unsurprising. Did not anticipate that occurring. We're also in a really, really, really great place in terms of cash. Have we completed our grant yet by any chance? Investments. 
wait 13 days. We must be close. We must be very, very close. And look at it. We've got the, the big old A380 back. Which is remarkable. And remarkably huge. Remarkably, remarkably huge. Can I just set this as a low priority build? Like, I really don't think that it's that necessary that we get it done now. You know, we can we can wait a little bit. We can wait a little bit. Also, everyone has to, like, frequently path all the way around the... The runway, which is a little bit weird, but I guess whatever. Alright, are we constructing this? We're waiting for construction objects, I think. But we're slowly but surely getting there. Alright. Requires a door to the terminal. Don't even worry about it. We're we're working on it. I feel like I should get some more PA speakers as well. That's another thing. Alright, what is the what is the issue here? The supply truck is trying to unload. Where is it trying to unload? Is it trying to unload in the delivery zone by any chance? Board 8,000 8, passengers in a one hour period. There we go. That's uh, that's achievement worthy, apparently. Achievement worthy of, of a national airport. Frankly, I feel that we're doing a little bit better than a national airport, but hey ho. Also, what the heck is this? What the heck is this nonsense? Why the heck is this supply truck trying to unload right here? Get it to unload in this area. Requires at least one security zone that meets requirements. Uh, what's the secure area? This area technically counts as secure. You're missing some staff to complete all job. Oh, we need 12 more security staff? Sure. Alright, the, the zone is secure though. The zone is absolutely secure. I'm just pretty irritated that we just... For some obscene reason, just don't even have enough workers. Okay, you know what? Give me, give me up to 500 workers. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that maybe seems crazy, but frankly, I really do not want to. I really do not want to have like a massive pickup wait over here. Like this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like delivery zone is supposed to be. Supposed to be right here. Can I uh, make this a sidewalk? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this nightmare of an area. Also, this needs to be this needs to be addressed. We need two, we need two imports. And there were two imports, but we bought a whole bunch of extra land, so now everything is back to just one, one area. Uh, can this supply truck maybe just like I don't know, move out of the way or something? I think I've upset something in the game. I don't know what I've upset, but I've upset something. It's probably to do with the fact that this construction is so large and is still ongoing. I maybe should have done it in bits. I feel like bits would definitely have helped. Oh my goodness. There is no, there is no redemption. There is no redemption in sight. It's just chaos. It is, it is just chaos. How's our baggage capacity looking? Baggage capacity is looking very, very good. Very, very good. Absolutely no issues. Especially with those bag boosters. That's completely fine. Okay. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I need to get two additional gate agents. Gate agent desks. We can get two of these gates up online right now. And I want to designate this as a standby gate. Switch mode. I don't know what switch mode means. I don't know what switch mode means at all. Uh, upgrade. Yeah, today's scheduled flights. None. No, I no idea. But I want to. I want to make it standby mode. Assign to. Assign to this pickup point, and then I want to assign it to this gate agent desk here too as well. What are you doing, workmen? Install. Okay, I've, okay, I've just no idea. I have no idea what the workmen are doing. I, I seriously think I seriously think that uh, uh, let's assign to that bag depot there. Door must be reachable from at least one assigned gate agent desk. Yeah? But 
it's a remote pad anyway. Gate policy default. Gate policy default. Assigned to baggage depot for candidates. None scheduled. Okay, but... Oh, if I switch mode, I think that that's between... Uh, between outdoor and, like, indoor. Okay, that's, that's completely fine. Right, so, then I go into... I think it's gate control. So then we go standby. New gate policy. Details. Closure time. Oh, I don't want to do... I don't want to do closure time or anything. Just give me, what is it? I think it's gate V1. Yeah, gate V1. Gate V1. Okay, you know what? Apparently, apparently it doesn't even matter. Apparently it doesn't even matter. How do I do standby, uh, standby gates? Ability to designate standby gates. Yeah, so I, I would very, very much like this to be a standby gate. However, I have... Ah, there we go. Default to standby. Brilliant. Just the ticket. Just the ticket. That's exactly what we need. And it's a large gate as well, so we should have ample capacity. Alright. Are we almost done with this construction here? If we're almost done with that construction, that would be... That would be excellent. It looks like the the legendary traffic jam that we saw is, is now ended, which is great. Pretty happy with that. I don't like this area. I don't like this area at all and I want to change it yeah you know what I do want to change it and I want to change it right now okay give me a give me a demolish give me a demolish demolish this demolish this and then give me a that and give me a that and then demolish demolish this okay it looks a little bit funky, but it might just be a way to make it work a little bit more smoothly. You're stuck? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You'll be unstuck soon. Anyway, we've got one standby gate. Is that going to be enough? You never know. It might be. It might not be. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I am going to foundationify all of this area under here. There we go. There we go, right down to there, and we're just going to make a bunch of moving walkway over here. Uh, do I, did I break any pipe network? I didn't break any pipe network there. So yeah, we're going to have uh, a bunch of, a bunch of one-way stuff over there, which is, which is looking pretty darn good. Also, I'm just now realizing this baggage depot looks like it would fit in quite nicely on some of these, on some of these pads. Can I... Blocked by aircraft gates. It does look like it would fit on there, like, really, really nicely. But apparently it, it, it doesn't. Ah, eh, fair enough. I'm fine having a communal baggage depot. It's a passenger bus. What the heck is going on here? I, I, I really do not understand why this, is, why this is not working the way that it should be. Okay. Whatever the case, we can dismantle this fence here. And dismantle all of this and we can build a brand new road over here as well to just increase capacity that little bit more there we go wonderful keep on using escape instead of right click to, to exit out of there but that's fine yeah this is still this is still very 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 highly confusing to me as to why this area doesn't work the way that it should. It looks a little bit better now. Yep, supply truck storage coming in here. Excellent. So if the if it does decide to, you know, to backlog, then it can do that, but it's not going to end up hurting anything, which is completely fine. Okay, so did the did the standby gate actually do anything for us? Switch this on to standby. Also, is this now connected to the terminal? Must be assigned an airport gate. Requires a gate, to, uh, a door to the terminal. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to polish up the walls in this area, and then we have to hope that we have to hope that it just works. Hope that this allows us to connect up. 
Does this work? Mm, I don't think this will. Even though... Yeah, I, I don't th I don't think this is going to work. As much as I would dearly love it to. Sector cannot be vacated. There we go. Does, th does this classify as the terminal? Secure areas. The problem is... The problem is the sidewalk doesn't count as, as a secure area. If I fence it, would that would that make it work? Um, blocked by aircraft gates. You know what? Maybe that'll maybe that'll count as a secure area, but I I, I doubt it to be honest. I feel like I'm being pretty cheeky anyway, to be honest. Like, this is a... This is a pretty tough nut to crack. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna work, is it? There's no way this is gonna work. Okay, here's my next... Here's my next plan. We're gonna dismantle these two gates. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna build uh, a little outcropping... ...in this vicinity very similar. There we go. Demolish this fence. Uh, a similar sort of outcropping over here. Now, I believe that this clone tool can actually only work on outdoor stuff, so there's pretty much zero point of using it for outdoor stuff, I guess. Kind of made my own point there. But, look. Yes, yeah, so we do this. We do this. And this at least gets us, like, three. This at least gets us, like, three gates. We connect the whole system up underground. And it should work. It should work absolutely perfectly. Right. Why are there why are there flights that are still missing? Uh, we shouldn't have flights that are that are failing to land. Yeah, that's bad. You don't need me to tell you that. You don't need me to tell you that. We should we should have the ability to to do this. Uh, you need to get an upgrade. Yeah, we need to replace that thing that we. We uh, we demolished a while ago. Let's get that connected up. We need to buy some more land. Let's purchase the land parcel right now. Let's freaking go. Bada bim, bada boom. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. We need to reload. We need to be told once again that Air Canada still flies UFOs, but that's fine. How are we doing grant-wise? I am really surprised that we haven't finished that risky investment grant yet. Like, I'm really looking forward to completing that. Also, let's dismantle all of this fence. All of this fence. Okay. Let's do it. And we still have 1.4 million in the bank. It's, it's ever so wonderful. It's ever so wonderful. Also, you know what? We could really do with sticking in an outdoor gate. Like, I don't know, down here somewhere. Too close to taxiway. All right, sticking an outdoor gate over there, just to make things a heck of a lot easier. It means that the workers don't, for some obscene reason, have to go all the way around the runway. I guess it does kind of make sense. You know, usually you don't want to end up crossing an active runway in order to get to in order to get to work somewhere. I guess it does actually make sense. Okay, 244 missed departures. I wonder where I wonder where we're we're failing. I wonder where we're failing. Is it security? I don't think it's security. I think that we're absolutely fine in terms of security. Our baggage, our baggage scanners are looking good. Assigned to zero of 24 body scanners. Uh, I don't think that I really need to do this, to be honest. It all just sort of does itself, sorts itself out, which is fine, which is fine for me. Anyway, let's get... Escalator up. Give me an escalator up. Uh, yeah, right in there. Right in there. Let's go up here. Must be assigned to an aircraft gate remote. Requires a door to the terminal. Okay, sliding glass door. Goes in there. Goes in there. Goes in there. Wonderful. This assigned to... Assigned to... 
requires an aircraft gate to be assigned. Okay, so we need to assign this to this aircraft gate. And then we assign to this here. Why the heck is this not working? Oh, we just assign it to the gate. Is that it? Okay. All right. Well, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Okay, requires a door to the terminal. Must be assigned an aircraft gate. So this is assigned to V1. So that means this is assigned to X1. Cool. This is assigned to Y1. Okay, that actually works out really, really well. Assigned to Z1. Nice. Okay, you can be assigned to... We've already got W1, if I'm not mistaken. X1, and then we just need two more gates. We need two more gates and we're good. Requires a door to the terminal. Now, you see, video game, there, there is a door to the terminal here. Are you going to be really, really pernickety about this? I mean, that's, that's, that's lame. That's lame. That's really lame if that's the case. I think you're going to be... I think you're going to be lame about this. See, if I go underground... There's definitely a sliding door. It's definitely connected. But it's not connected in the same... Sort of way that you might expect, though. Uh, okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Demolish this entire area. It brings me great sadness. Objects must be demolished first. What? Okay, dismantle then. Dismantle everything in here. And then demolish everything. Yeah. There is no... There is no redemption. There is no redemption for this... For this... I mean, attempt. Unassign there. Assign over there. You're assigned there. You're assigned there. Fine. You're on standby. You're both on standby. So we should have no we should have no capacity issues now. These gates are still I don't know. I still want to make them work, but I'm just not super bothered about making them work at this moment in time. I would much rather make sure that this that this concourse is is, is working the way that it should be. Okay. You know what? Go. Whoa. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I. Uh, sure. I don't. I want to turn it off. There we go. Turn it off. So you're allowed to go. You're allowed to go on there. Which is great. I don't want this to be one way. However, I can let this... I can't put the one way in there, which is which is irritating. Uh, okay, I, look, I feel like maybe, maybe we don't even connect it up to this runway. I know that sounds like obscene, but maybe we just have like a dedicated runway. Or a dedicated two runways. Concrete runway. Concrete runway is technically more expensive. Should we go for that? Should we go for a concrete? Should we go for two concrete runways? Can I get A380s here? I can't get A380s. Hold up. Cancel. Okay, can't cancel the project. Fine. Insufficient funds to buy to buy this area. That's okay. I will in a second. I need 240. I need 240 tiles in length in order to make uh, a runway that properly works. Okay. I also want to dismantle this bottom square here. I mean, it's gonna look a little bit messy, isn't it? It's gonna look a little bit messy, but frankly, can you blame me? Can you blame me the fact that it looks messy? I mean, maybe you can. Fair, fair play to you if you think you can blame me for the mess, but I don't think you can blame me for the mess. Come on, just let me complete this video game. Wait for 13 days. I'm, I'm waiting. I've, I feel like I've been waiting for more than 13 days at this point. Uh, oh boy, okay. So the irritating thing about this is that we need to grab all of this fence and get this all dismantled. Yeah. Give me 
be that in there. Deconstruct this, but of course if I deconstruct this fence, then everyone is going to freak out and start walking around the airport like, uh, like crazy. It's already queued up for dismantle. That's fine. We still have plenty of... Oh my goodness. We still have plenty of workers to do to do different uh, to do different jobs. But nobody's just that bothered about doing any of them, to be honest. Which is a little bit strange, but okay. <laughs> can we just... Can we get this runway done? Thanks. That would be really, really great. I also want to build another runway. I, I've uh, I mentioned this, but I want to build I want to build another runway over here. Uh, we don't have the money, and also the placement is invalid at this moment in time. So we're gonna we're gonna buy this pocket of land, I think. But I'm not gonna buy it quite yet, because of course we don't have the money, and uh, and that is quite important. Okay, dismantle, dismantle this. Even this, I feel like, is too early. Okay, low priority. Low prior. Okay, like it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Urgent priority. Everyone is queuing up here to get through. Oh boy, I mean, look at the. It just it. Uh, okay, as soon as the secure zone is breached, just things start going crazy. And what the heck is happening over here? Like I, I have absolutely zero idea. It's like the secure zone gets breached and then just everything goes everything goes wrong. And then for some reason the workers just can't fix it. Okay, you know what? I can't even cancel the project now even though I've set it on low priority. I mean, <laughs> what more do you want? What more do you want from me, video game? Okay, yep, yeah, requires a secure area. So literally all of the aircraft gates are refusing to operate. Everyone at the security check-in is irritated about the fact that they don't need to go to a secure zone. Oh my goodness, look at the sheer number of people. I, I will never understand. I will never understand why would the people need to go anywhere else. Like, just continue through security. Just continue doing what you're doing under normal circumstances. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, look at the rubbish. Look at the garbage. It's, there's still people flooding through here. Oh boy, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I, I really tried there. I gave the game the benefit of the doubt. I gave it time to fix itself, and yet, here we are. People still streaming in and streaming out. And how many people missed their flights? Three thousand missed departures. Okay, so we almost had more missed departures than successful departures over the course of the day. And the game, uh, <laughs> big freeze as everyone gets rerouted. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was a that was a nasty one. That was a that was a nasty one. Yeah, that that kind of sucked. That kind of sucked. Passenger experience did uh, did go down a little bit. I mean, honestly, I can't blame them. Cannot cannot blame them. Did we even get our passenger numbers to the American Airlines? Uh, to the American Airlines gate. If we didn't, then we might have breached our contract. Temporarily inactive. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's get this concrete runway extended up to the max. 200, 240 tiles, I think, is, is fine. Yeah, 240 tiles is absolutely adequate. Uh, we also want to get it upgraded as much as we possibly can. I'd love to buy, I'd love to buy this brand new area right now, but unfortunately I just can't. This is looking good, though. This is looking really, really good. It looks a little bit messy, but that's okay. I mean, when is a little bit of mess ever hurt anyone, right? I don't answer that question. I almost feel like maybe we move this runway just over by one, so that we have like a clear, a clear area with which to, with which to loop around. Hmm. Yeah. I also feel like we need to just try and make it easier for the workers to get to where they need to go because at the moment the the commute is ridiculous we need to buy this packet of land or we need to shorten this runway and elongate it at this end or something i i, I don't know i don't want to extend it right now because if i extend it right now it's almost certainly going to lead to issues 
Yeah, okay, so get this get this upgraded, get this get this sorted. Uh, after we we do the we do the upgrade. It should only take like a tiny little bit as we only extended it by I don't know what, two or three tiles? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Ninety-eight percent, a hundred percent. Brilliant. Wonderful. Okay, let's get it upgraded. Give me the landing system. Give me the runway lights which we can get up at this end if I'm not mistaken must be aligned with the runway yeah, yeah, yeah I know it must be aligned with the runway but like okay this is a there we go that's looking good give me that there yeah wonderful and upgrade again get that and we get that apparently that's completely fine placement for those things i feel like it shouldn't be but that's okay then i'm gonna grab some more taxiway throw that down there it looks a little bit it looks a little bit strange but that's that's okay that is okay then we need to one wayify this area if we can there we go to make it go in that direction only so we're not going to allow any aircraft on here. This is going to be a departures, departures only. What is this one called? 18L. So we're going to allow, sorry, arrivals only. Departures, departures are going to have to be from this brand new runway, which we are going to have to build in another time, in another episode. Because that is, uh, that is just about all that we've got time for today. Holy cow, this is like, we are doubling the size of our airport, like instantly we are going to need to increase the capacity of our security area by like double yeah i don't think i've even thought about how we're going to prepare for this i think to be honest we're going to need to get security and ticketing on the second floor and then send everyone back down to the first floor because this is obscene this is obscene like this is this is huge like the the number of flights that we're going to be able to accommodate i mean if i have a little look at my flight flight management look at the, it just keeps going it just keeps going it just keeps 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 on going it's all it's all free it's all possible not to mention the fact that hopefully soon we're going to get the early am flights which is very very interesting indeed anyway ladies and gents thanks as ever to the fantastic patreon supporters over at patreon.com potato thanks as ever to banana nanana and c senpai who are the two 25 plus tier patrons thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye